that they say if we'll only avoid, avoid any confrontation with the enemy, he'll forget his evil ways and learn to love us. All to oppose, all, all to oppose. Good morning, T. Good morning, T. Good morning, T. All the pimps, players, hustlers out there, aunties, uncles, cakey. Shout out to everyone for stopping through yesterday. Another dope, dope battle. 9015 kicks and hot dog went down to the final question. If you didn't check it out, please do, especially the fourth question from the bro. PM Kicks. Speaking of PM Kicks, go follow PM Kicks, the bro. 313 Retro Queen, McFly KOF, as Who Has the Heat show is down to the final four. We got Cadillac Jackson versus Soul Reaper, Forgiven Souls, and also we have Gone AWOL versus Hot Dog. So it should be dope the last two weeks, and then, or two weeks, now three weeks with the championship. And we gonna see what happened. As we currently on the road to 5K, if you can tell a family member, friend, another giveaway is coming pretty, pretty soon. Now I did enough talking. Let's jump right into this review show. And I gave a little sample of this earlier, but now we're gonna do a more detailed review of this shoe. It's supposed to release December 27, but they push it up to. November 20th, I ain't really seen nobody talking about this shoe, so we're gonna talk about it. The Air Flight 89, official colorway, cement, gray, white, black. He got the RF code and all of that stuff. Suggested retail price, 120 of these things. It's one of five. You got your regular Nike box, you got your QR code and all that stuff. I always got my champ receipt on deck. And we're gonna do it like so. And bang! Alabama slammer on that ass. As you can see there, 89. I said in the video, Barker, Barker, what are you? But his was slightly different, but he did wear it when he playing it from Alabama. So always proud of the home team. He actually had a stepbrother. He's pretty good too. Played for Birmingham Southern when I worked out back in the day when I was a little tyke. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? So this is a 105, believe it or not. Um, it's homage to the swoosh made by Carolyn Davidson back in 1971 and showing all these different variations of how the swoosh. So this shoe is basically just a uh, homage all of the different ads so that's why they're calling this the time capsule pack you got this the air max one the react 270 i think uh air max plus and one other shoe air max what is it air max or air force one right so we'll see but i think it's interesting and they got a whole bunch of different merch for this shoe so on the knee you can see you got a little bit of hair and bone traction you got that nike in this color coming up here you got pretty good grade of leather here and the good thing about this is stitched up here like the air force one on the knee is it stitch yeah stitch you got black stitching on the knee then they got some interesting looking materials i don't know if it's, it's not nylon but it's something it's interesting very interesting when you sell then you got a little leather here on the tongue. On here on the tongue, you got the poofy tongue. You got Air Flight. The lace is pretty dope. You got the two-tone laces with the kind of like the fuchsia pink color there. Coming around the side, you got the Nike over branding as they starting to do on a lot of the shoes. Then you got the spackle packle right there for the paint. I mean, it's a lot of details on this shoe. No 3M though, from what I understand, but I could be wrong. But I didn't see nothing that popped out of three underneath. You see the air unit, which is pink. Most backwards on that rear, which really make a lot of people go cray cray, is Nike Air on the back and dick. Very, very dope. Coming around on the media side, you got some more of that over branding on the swoosh. Leather hits right here. You got like these little waffle eyelets here. They're blue. And blue on this side as well. 
And then you got some nylon here with the puka hole that you call. What you talking about, Willie? Very, very dope. And underneath you got the upside down air flight. Inside you got a little bit of branding, Nike as well. On these, I went a half size up, but they feel a little snug, so you want to give your feet a little bit of room, a little cushion for the pushing, right? So, on the Lady Mitt Nika, let's see, let's see. I give it about a 4.7 out of 5. I think it's a very interesting shoe. A lot of dope merch, you got sweat, hoodies, um, regular t shirts to go with your shoes. So I give it about a 4.7 out of 5. You Drop a comment below, suggestion, let me know what you think. Cop pass, to me the shoes coming out, and I will respond. I try to respond to everybody within 72 hours to a week now, just depending if I see it, because sometimes I don't see the comment at all. You feel me? Appreciate it. Much love and respect. Keep money shoes. I'm out. Peace.